Hi, I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you five text-to-speech Chrome extensions that should help you get started converting your text-to-speech for either um, an audiobook-like experience or to help you create a voiceover for your videos. Let's get started. So the first Chrome extension I like to talk about is called Word, right? W O O R D, and that's a text to speech. Okay, and you can just click on Add. Now in this case, it's going to be Add to uh, Chrome, but since I have the Brave browser, it's just the same thing. So you click on that and wait for it to install. Okay, now if you check over here, it might not be here, so you're gonna have to possibly click on extensions, right? Which is this like puzzle piece, and scroll down for your extension that you install, right? And pin it so you can see it visibly, all right? Now, once that's done, you can go ahead and double click it. Okay, there's three different ways you can go ahead and use this. You can either A, open up the website through the extension and click on the, um, copy the URL of what you'd like to read and paste it here, or you can just copy and paste the text and put it in here. But the third option, which I like to use since it's, you know, kind of seamless, is to go into the article I like to read. So in this case, I'm going to use Ezine article just as an example, okay? Uh, I'm going to click on this first one right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, click on the extension, and it's going to say speak it. So let me just turn up the volume so you can get a better hear of this. All right. Now, before it will work, you're going to have to sign up real quick. Let me just do that. So once you've finished signing up, go back, and all you do is just check, check out the article that you like. To read, click on the extension, click on Speak It, and then you can go ahead and uh, paste what you'd like to read in here. So I'm just going to just use this first section here. And click on Speak It. It seems this nation, instead of proactively addressing the true needs and priorities which exist, simply keeps procrastinating and putting off taking well considered timely action for the best interests of our country, citizens, and the planet, both at present and into the future. I agree. All right. All in all, it's not too bad. It's, uh, you know. It's a bit roboticy, but it's still easy to listen to. You know, easier than other, um, you know, text to speech that I've, I've heard before. Okay, so you have the thing I like about this is you have several different ways you can use it. You can go ahead and download it, you can embed it, and it's uh, mainly for free. Okay, but you have like a monthly a monthly limit. Um, all right, so that's Word. That's the first Chrome extension, and I'll leave an article down below so you. It, uh, with all the links to all the extensions I talk about today. Okay, the next Chrome extension I'd like to show you that converts your text to speech is called, I think it's Huiza. And, you know, this is the page in the Chrome extension. It's got pretty good reviews 32 um, four stars, almost four star reviews, right? Out of four out of five. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add to Brave. And. It's installed over here on the top right right hand corner. So once the extension is installed and you've pinned it to the uh, toolbar, all you have to do, this one's a lot easier to use. You just highlight what you want to read and right click. Then the option to read the page will be available towards the bottom. And you click on read page. Let me move the mic closer to the speaker so you can get a better feel for the quality.
Diamond author. 7,002 articles. 5 reasons I've lost faith in American politics. By Richard Brody. Submitted on October 28, 2021. It seems, this nation, instead of, proactively, addressing the true needs and priorities. All right. Now, as you can tell, this one is a lot more robotic than the other ones. Um, let me see. Okay. When it has a, a lot fewer options. Um, but as you can see, it's a lot easier to use. You just right click, scroll down, and read the page. And it will, it will even show you where it's read. Let me uh, continue real quick. Which exists simply keeps procrastinating and putting off taking well considered timely action for the best interests of our country citizens and the planet both at present and into the future i've reached the point where either i okay now uh you can change the speed on this one but that's about it when it comes down to the free software but all in all it's not too bad uh, I like how it's easy to use. I just wish there was more voices and the the quality of the voice was a bit you know less robotic. But for free, uh, I'm not going to be complaining. Okay, so um, let's move on to the next one. The next Chrome extension I like to talk about is called Natural Reader Text to Speech, and you can find it right here. And this is what it'll look like. So once you find the extension, go ahead and install it. And then once it's installed, you can go ahead and pin it. Okay, so I'm going to use the same Ezen article, and you go ahead and click on the extension and just click, click on play. Five reasons I've lost faith in American politics. It seems this nation, instead of proactively addressing the true needs and priorities which exist, simply keeps procrastinating and putting off taking well considered timely action for the best interests of our country citizens and the planet both at present and into the future okay i'm going to stop right there and show you some of its other features you can go ahead and fast forward it so let me show you that real quick and are hypocrites it's not as if one political son Okay, so you can fast forward it. You can, uh, you know, scroll it back, kind of like Wake a, up, America. You know, kind of like a video. Not too bad. Um, I like the fact that the sound is, is uh, you know, it, it sounds more human-like, not as robotic as the other one. And the interface looks nice. It's it looks easy to use. There wasn't any like sign up or anything like that. Uh, once I installed, I can just use it right away. So that's the that's the positive side. Now. Let me go into settings. You can go ahead and change uh, different voices. So let me show you what the other ones sound like. Let me go with uh, this one right here. I've reached the point where either I endorse the famous line from the movie. Ne All right. You can also speed up the voice. I'm going to speed it up a little bit, maybe times uh, two. I've reached the point where either I know. Oops, that's a bit that's a bit too fast. I've reached the point where either I endorse the famous line from the movie Network, I'm mad as hell and not going to take it anymore, or become increasingly apathetic because it seems. Okay, so as you can see with this one you have a lot more options. Um, you can try out a whole bunch of different voices. You got, you know, a whole bunch of different free voices. And uh, if you upgrade, you have a whole different plus voices. But the, uh, the free one's not too bad. And the interface is pretty good. So um, all in all, I, I kind of like this one the most so far. The next Chrome extension I like to talk about is called Speak It. And this is what it looks like in the Chrome store. And I'm going to go ahead and install it. And once it's installed, I'm going to go ahead and pin it. 
Okay, and this works very similar to the other one. You just highlight what you like and you scroll down and in the option here you will have speak it. It seems this nation instead of proactively addressing the true need. And then you can go ahead and change the voice if you'd like to. So um, you know, let me go female fast. All right, and try again. It seems this nation, instead of proactively addressing one nothing significant slash necessary changes or is addressed realistically too often. Okay. Um, I'm not sure why this isn't exactly working. Maybe you have to upgrade, upgrade it. But uh, the one thing I don't like about this is it's kind of hard to like uh, use. The only way... You can't really go fa backward or forward. You just uh, scroll. You have to highlight what you like. And it, it's the interface is really, really bare bones. Uh, I've tried several times to <laughs> change the voice, but I, I'm, I was unable to. As you can see, this is the instructions. And you're supposed to be able to click on this, change it to whatever you like. And it's supposed to be able to detect it. But... Once One, I select words or paragraphs to run. See, it, it still has that one voice. So if anyone of you could tell me what's going on with that, please uh, leave a comment below and let me know. But um, all in all, you know, it's easy. I guess it's easy to use. You just highlight and uh, click on speak it. But the options are very limited. But it's good to have a backup in case, you know, the other extensions don't work for you or, you know, you just don't like it. It's, it's always good to have a spare uh, extension that can convert your text to speech. Now, the last um, extension that's text to speech, speech extension I'm going to show you is uh, the Read Me Text to Speech Reader. I'm going to install it. And after this one, I'm going to show you a bonus uh, extension that I like to use when I'm reading. Okay, so once it's here, go ahead and pin it. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the same article, highlight what I like, and just like the other ones, I just click on read text. It seems this nation, instead of proactively addressing the true needs and priorities which exist, simply keeps procrastinating and putting off taking well considered timely action for the best interests of our country, citizens, and the planet, both at present and into the future. And as you can see, all you have to do is just highlight what you like and right click and then just click on read text. And let me just show you a bonus extension that I like to use when it comes down to reading. All right, and that bonus extension is called read mode. And the reason why I like this, let me just install it real quick and show you. So go ahead and install it. Let me uh, pin it. And the reason why I like it is because it will take any article and it will basically cut out all the extra visuals, ads, and everything else to make it a lot more readable. So let me click it and show you what I mean. Hmm. There we go. And as you can see, all the extra fluff is, is taken out and you have just the text. Now, what is this good for? This is good for combining things. You can combine it with um, you know, your text-to-speech and make it things a lot easier to highlight. Okay? And you can also make it a lot easier to print. And at the same time, a lot of times people will have to you know, have like a whole bunch of banners and uh, they'll force you to deactivate your your ad blocker or they'll see your ad blocker is causing problems by doing things this way they show the ads at the same time you're still able to read clearly what's what's going on now some sites are pretty bad but uh now this just help things you know, helps me read things a lot better and or highlight the text that i need in order for my text to speech reader uh to work so i hope these extensions were helpful and if it was could you please hit a like button uh, as it would be greatly appreciated. I'm Vince from Digital Man Institute, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.